The loser of this match will receive three grand. The winner will receive five times that much. $15,000 on the line for the winner. We met them earlier, but let's meet them again. David Sykon and Sam Carter. My name is David Sykon. I'm 29 years old from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And when I'm not axe throwing, I like to do photography and study positive psychology and mindfulness. Uh, there's really only one top favorite moment, and that has to be winning the Canadian Open earlier this year, not just because it was my only major axe tournament win, but it also got to be against someone who I consider one of my best friends. I'm 29, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I throw axes for a living, I work at a venue, and I manage one. I guess my favorite moment so far would have to be the first time I was on ESPN. It was just a crazy moment. My first time uh, being in a Waddle tournament did really well. Uh, thankfully, I'm here now. Hopefully, I can uh, continue going on for the rest of the time. They're both 29 years old, and they're both potentially 20 throws away from a world championship. When you're ready, and Pat McDonald reminding everybody that Sam Carter coming through the A bracket. If he wins this match, he will be the champion. David Sykon needs to beat Carter in two consecutive showdowns, both best of three. How do you handicap this showdown between these two? This is going to be a hard one. Honestly, they've been uh, super consistent. Sam Carter's first big tournament was at the U.S. Open, where he took the runner-up then. Um, David Sykon, the Canadian Open champion, and he's been consistently in the top five of most of our major tournaments. Yeah, so. Shaky start here from Sykon. Back-to-back fours. And that's got to be the pressure of the moment. I mean, as much as these guys like to say it doesn't impact them, I think it's impossible. This is shot number four. That thought lingering in the back of your mind. Honestly, I don't even think it's about uh, the prize money or anything either. I think it's six, just the weight six. of trying to gain that title of the world axe throwing champion. They both go up on kill. Sam Carter ahead a good bit. Doesn't necessarily need to go kills, but decides to anyway. And Sam Carter delivers the eight. They're battling for that delivering axe. All right. 12-point differential halfway through. Don't touch it. Six! Six! Like it's going in this round. Wait. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Psycho's already left. admitting defeat. But with that point spread, I can't say that'll blame him. That's okay. It's best of three. So he can fight his way back up. Six! Six! See if he can refresh his mind. That's even more important than refreshing the scoreboard at this point. Yeah, it seems uh, he's, he's in his head a little bit. He's getting there, but uh, looks six, like he's trying to shake it six. off. That's Carter Go number nine. grew up in Raleigh, now lives in Winston-Salem, the college at UNC Charlotte. Six, six. 2013 graduate of Penn Kill State shots. University. Kill. Kill. Kill shots are called. Yeah. Those shots are called, but this is not going to make a difference. Carter's going to win this first game. And that's a perfect game for Sam Carter. The nerves are not getting to Sam, it seems. It is a seriously strong start for Sam. Taking that practice throw now, just to kind of, hopefully, you can hear the weight of the breath. He's chatting with Sam Carter earlier today, and you know, he... It was several hours after he had gotten out of bed, presumably. He kind of has this slow rhythm to his Sorry. voice, saying, and I I'm said, it, it seems I'm like you want to go to sleep. He said, always. And that, that's his adaptive sloth style. This is game number two. That's These right. shots now count. Saikon <laughs> accidentally threw an extra practice throw. He's getting way too in the zone. You know, he might, if he doesn't get out of it, I think uh, getting to that clear headspace, he might have a repeat of last year, being the runner up. World champion, two years in a row. Throw number two. Carter just seems feeling. like a rock right now. Six, yeah, he's six. in the zone. And Saikon's chuckling, but I have a feeling it's, uh, I have a feeling he's he's getting worried. Six, six. 
familiar 6-6 from the head judge, Ben McDonald. Saikon's going to need one heck of a comeback here. He's tied in this match, but trailing 1-0. Six, six. He comes back to beat Carter two out of three here. He'd have to do it again two out of three. They're both going for the kill. Carter stay perfect. Yes. Saikon hits it too. Carter, unshakable. We're tied at 38. Perfect scores through six throws in this particular match. Yeah. Perfect score being 64 out of 10 throws. Six, six, six. So far, we're headed that direction. I don't like this game, right? I pulled my slot in the other. <laughs> There's a little, <laughs> there's a little far to the right on that bullseye, but still in. Two more throws, perfect game so far for both. Yeah. And it continues. Been virtually perfect throughout this entire tournament. I mean, he's just been grooving through. If Carter makes this and Sycon misses, Sam Carter will be the new world champion. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.